Coogan, Cassis for our field team in association with MTK Global at the final press conference here for Saturday's huge heavyweight showdown night. Yeah. Joined by Derek Chisora. How are we today? What's the mood of Derek Chisora today? All fine, brother. How are you doing, man? I'm all right. Very relaxed today. Very, very, very. How's it going? I'm all good. I'm all good. Oh, so, shit. I need to go take a shit. <laughs> okay. I don't know whether to keep the camera rolling until he gets back or maybe we'll turn back. Yeah, I think I'm five pounds light up to that dump. Nice. Oh. Just what the viewers wanted to know. What's up? Are you in a good mood? Yeah, go on. Are you sure? Yeah, you all right? So you have been in camp with Spilker before. You spent a lot of time out in Poland in the past, so... Never been in camp with him, but... Oh, really? Ended up with him. Have you sparred with him, though? No, never. Really? No. It's a bit weird, isn't it? What's so weird about it? You spend a lot of time in Poland, you're both heavyweights, yeah, and you've never there, sparred I was, I was there to party, not to train. Oh, really? Is it good party life in Poland? Yeah. Okay. What, um, what does a win over Spilker do for your career? More money in the bank. <laughs> no, no, he does. No, no, he does. But you know what? Forget all that. We want to give a great fight for the fans. Uh, we want, you know, those people who tune in to be happy with the fight. You know, I, I believe he's coming to do war, as he said. Um, buzzing, he's buzzing. We're both buzzing. So oh, I'm excited for this fight, man. I can't wait. Is somewhere in the back of your mind this fight with Joseph Parker that should happen? Should you come uh, through? I don't know, man. I don't know. We're not talking about Joseph Parker right now, to be honest with you. you know, Spilker and Spilker. Spilker, 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 that's it. What do you make as a, of the card as a whole? The card is a great card, man. I hope they do well on pay-per-view. But everybody's gone on holiday, well. Say that again. I hope they do well on pay-per-view. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, what, what, what's your thoughts on White Rivas and also Alan Price? Alan Price. These are both guys who wanted to retire a time ago. And, uh, and then suddenly, they're both fighting at the O2 Arena. I hope somebody don't bite nobody in their fight. Uh, and I hope David Price does it, you know, because uh, I know Price for years and I want him to do well, you know, he's always had doubts in his head. And I want him to release that right hand which he's got. He's got the most powerful right hand in, I think got Deontay and, and you got Price in the world. But he don't play with that right hand, I don't know why. And uh, your old friend, Dylan White and Oscar Rivas? Hard fight. It's a long night for dinner, you know, but we have to be rooting for our English man. So, uh, I want Dylan to win it. I think it might go to points. You think that fight will go to points, oh, yeah? yeah? If Dylan wants to go to points, it might go to points. If Dylan works with Jab, we'll just keep Rivers off. But knowing Rivers looks like a tough, stubborn man who's going to keep coming. Yeah. So, so it's going to be a long night. We spoke about this at the O2 last weekend about Dylan White's situation. We've got some clarity that he will be a mandatory challenger should he come through Oscar Rivas too. Dylan has been a mandatory challenger for a while. And, uh, and, I feel bad, and, I, and I feel bad for Dylan, you know. He's been, he's been there for a while and they're not showing him the respect he needs, you know, to be fine for the WBC right now. As Tyson Fury say, Deontay Wilder is locked in for two fights with Tyson Fury. You know, it's just uh, shambles. And then suddenly, Deontay Wilder is locked in for two fights. AJ and uh, what's his name will be locked in for another two fights. So what does it leave Dylan White in the air? Waiting for his shot at some point next year. Don't think it will happen next year, my friend. You don't think that will happen either? Nah. Okay. All right, well, listen, I know you're uh, off on your way out, so Thanks, brother. Get, the good job, to see you, get the job done on Saturday. Thank you. Catch you later. Speak to you soon. Peace out. Peace out. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, bro.